Hey there friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a really great day. Today I'm doing another WWE pay-per-view predictions video. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, and this week it is for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, which is on this evening. Um, of the night that I'm uploading this video. I keep looking down, it's about a card on my phone, um, so I just want to make sure I'm saying everything right, really. This year's Hell in Cell only has eight matches, which compared to some of the previous um, pay-per-views from the last few months, it seems quite small. I think because they've got two Hell in a Cell matches, um, they're probably leaving space for those to be a bit longer. So neither the Intercontinental Championship nor the United States Championship is being defended um, at, on, at this pay-per-view, um, which is quite interesting, um, but I think it adds a whole new level to it with, with gives the, the matches time to be that bit longer and maybe a bit more intense. I'm going to get straight into it with my first prediction for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view for this year, and that is and it's for the match that is from SmackDown, which is Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. I think Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella are going to kick their ass. You know, John Cena and Nikki Bella did it at WrestleMania a couple of years ago, and Daniel and Brie are, in my opinion, even better than Nikki and um, John. So I don't think this is going to be difficult for them. Um, I think the problem is that the, the It Couple, um, the Miz and Maurice, are very, very good at being tricksy and pull it, doing things that, that are illegal um, and stuff like that. But I think Daniel and Brie are going to win. Like, I really, want, really need them to win. I love them, Daniel and Brie. I think it'll be a massive upset if they don't win. The next match on the card is the WWE Championship over on SmackDown Live, and that is the champion AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Um, you know what? I'm really not sure. Um, I think they're quite evenly matched. Part of me thinks that they might have Samoa Joe win just to like break it up a little bit, as you know, I don't think we've had a he a heel be the WWE champion for a really long for a while now. I think it'd be an interesting um, turn of events. The next match on the card is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. And this is the New Day, who are the champions, versus um Rusev and Aiden English, with obviously Lana in their corner. Um, I think the New Day are going to keep it for a bit longer, to be honest. Um, I, don't, I, I don't think... I think Rusev and Aiden English are really good, but I kind of feel like the demise of that partnership is on the way. Um, and the New Day are probably just going to take advantage of that. The next match for Hell in a Cell 2018 is the big one, the kind of face of this pay-per-view, and that is um, Roman Reigns versus... Braun Strowman in Hell in a Cell with Braun Strowman cashing in his Money in the Bank contract for the WWE, um, no, for the Universal Championship with Mick Foley as the special guest referee. Oh, that was a mouthful. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really interesting match. I think it's going to be a really exciting match, you know, but they've had, at the same time, they've kind of, they've done it before. They've had, Braun and Roman have had matches like this previously. Um, you know, they've done, they've, I think one of them put one the other in a dumpster or in a or in a van and tipped the van over. I think Roman drove a lorry into a wall with Braun in the back of it. You know, they've gone hard, these two, already. So we already know this is gonna be a chaotic match. I think Roman's gonna win, but I'm only saying that because I really want Roman to win so that the Shield can like, you know, have every title on them on the show. But I think it'd be really cool for Roman to win in the lead up to maybe Survivor Series um, and then maybe Braun to take it around then. The next match on the card is the Raw Women's Championship and that is Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss and this is really easy, Row Rowdy's going to retain Alexa Bliss if, you know, doesn't really stand much of a chance I don't think. Yes, she's really good at playing tricky and potentially the only way she could win is if um, someone else kind of helped her but I think Rowdy's got this in the bag to be honest, I think her title reign is nowhere near over, they're going to milk this for a long time. The next match on the card is the second of the Hell in a Cell matches and this is Randy Orton versus Jeff Hardy. I think Randy Orton's going to win to be honest, you know Randy Orton has kind of got, his nickname is the Legend Killer and I think this is going to be another one of those kind of notches on Randy Orton's belt that he beats Jeff Hardy at Hell in a Cell. Um, I think it would really kind of put Randy Orton up there as the top heel on SmackDown and maybe put him in for another title run at some point 
Um, but yeah, I think Autumn's going to win. The penultimate match for Hell in a Cell 2018 is the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. I want Becky Lynch to win. I adore Becky Lynch, just like the rest of the WWE universe. Becky Lynch is my absolute favourite women's wrestler. I really want her to win. I don't know if she will, but I'm going to stick my neck out there and say that heel Becky is going to absolutely smash it and, you know, have a bit of an upset and win. And the final match for Helen Sal is the match that I'm actually looking the most forward to, and that is the Raw Tag Team Champions Championship of um, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Um, Seth Rollins is already the, I think he's the, he's either the Intercontinental Champion or the United States Champion, um, and obviously Roman Reigns is the, is the Universal Champion, and so basically if they win this, and the Shield has got all of the titles that they could get on SmackDown, and I really want um, Dean and Dean and um, Dean and Seth to win. I think they can win. I think it'll be a really, really cool match. I kind of want them to end on this match or end on the on the Universal Title one, and for the two to kind of merge. Um, uh, my guess, my vote is for Dean and Dean and Seth to win. Um, I love the Shield, and I'm super excited that Dean is back. And I think this is going to be a kick-ass match, whoever wins. So those are my predictions for the 2018 Hell in Style pay-per-view. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win, who your predictions are, who your favourite wrestlers are, all that sort of stuff. I'd love to have a chat with you guys. I better go now because my camera is on red. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did. I upload um, wrestling videos every time there is a WWE pay-per-view. So that's normally around once a month. And then I upload, um, but I upload twice a week. So I upload on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So remember to subscribe if you like what you see and I shall see you guys soon. Bye.